Welcome everyone um, for and joining the AdMiner K3 online launch event. So thank you for everyone tuning in from you know different parts of the world. You know where I'm at, it's it's the evening where you know most of the most of our speakers are. It's actually in the morning. So thank you for joining us. Um, we're gonna be have, we're gonna be having a lot of wonderful speeches today. A lot of explanations about the new product. So I'm sure everybody's really excited about this event. So to kick things off, I'd like to introduce the speakers of our event. So to start it off, um, I'd like to introduce like X May Lin, who is the head of marketing from Bitmain. Hi, hi everyone. Yeah. Hi, hi. I'm X May Lin from Bitmain. I'm the marketing head. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for yeah. attending this lunch event. Yeah. All right. The next up, we have Tyler Banster. He's the tech adoption lead from Cadena. Hey, folks. Really delighted to be here today. I'll be happy to share the latest from the Kadena ecosystem and Kadena Eco, our, our efforts to catalyze builders on uh, Kadena proof of work blockchain. So really, really excited to be here and talk more with you. All right. And then next we have Chun Leaf. He's a senior development engineer from Antpool. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm from Antpool team and uh, uh, very pleasure to join the event. Thank you. Yeah. All right. And then next we have Matthew, who's the founder from Kadena Mining Club. Hi, Justin. Thanks a lot. Matthew Dernia from KMC here. Very excited to be here for this historic, historic day for the Kadena ecosystem. Uh, thank you for everybody listening at home. Really appreciate it. All right. And then next we have uh, Brandon, who's the channel marketing manager from HashFrog. Hi everyone, nice to meet you guys. I'm Brendan here. Um, I'm the channel marketing of Hash Fraud, and it's a great pleasure to participate in the joint launch event today. All right, and for our final participant, we have Doug Beersley. He's a director of engineering from Kadena. Hi, Justin. Um, yeah, also thrilled to be here. Really excited about the collaboration between Bitmain and Kadena. Yeah. So like, um, I just like to thank everybody for joining here today and then um, looking forward to a very uh, fruitful meeting for the next uh, hour or so. So to kick things off, um, I think uh, I'd like to call in like uh, the Kadena team, Doug and Tyler, who'll be sharing a few, uh, you know, few information about what they're doing, about how the ecosystem is doing. You know, like uh, we have Doug, he's the director of engineering and Tyler, tech adoption lead. So they're gonna do a presentation about Kadena. So it's really quite exciting to see what we're going to be hearing the next uh, next few moments. Yeah, um, is there any way that I can show a few slides? If if not, that's not a problem. But um, that that should slides be possible. That I think would, would help. Um, what what I want to do is just kind of explain to the audience the the really high level of what Kadena is and uh, mm -hmm. what problems we're solving, so that uh, the community can have an idea of a project maybe they haven't heard of before. Yeah, right. I think you can do the screen sharing, right? Screen sharing. You Let's click see if the, I can. You click the green I button. Share. The green button. Yeah. One second. Share. Yeah. All right. Good. We're in. There we go. Can you see these slides? Okay, great. Um, maybe I'll just stick with these slides. So Kadena is a layer one blockchain, and the big thing that we've done is we've solved this kind of infamous trilemma. Um, and we've successfully scaled proof of work. And I wanna just give a really quick overview of, of like the details, because if you make a claim that big, you really need to be able to explain how and why um, it's true. Um, roughly speaking, all single chain proof of work blockchains have the same performance, kind of like the rocket equation for, for people trying to get to space, they have the same, same physical limitations. Um, in the blockchain world, we, we all have the same physical limitations, the speed of light, network bandwidth, and transaction execution time. It's the same whether you're, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, you know, Kadena, we all have the same, the same fundamental limitations. And roughly speaking, let's just say for purposes of simplicity that one blockchain gets us five transactions per second. If it's different, it doesn't matter that, that much. Kadena can scale 
with what I call a multi-core blockchain. So the same way that computers were able to scale their processing, Kadena can scale blockchains. And um, I think that's a really neat kind of parallel, a similar approach works in both places. So if one chain gives you five transactions per second, two chains can give you 10. Five chains can give you 25, 10 chains can give you 50 and so on. Now, there's um, one key thing here. In order to make these actually behave like a single unified blockchain, Kadena braids the chains together. And if, if we had two chains, it might look something like this, where each block actually has the hash of the other chain in addition to the hash of its own chain um, in, at the previous block. The thing about this is that it's, it's not sufficient just to say, oh, we're going to link the chains. You have to link them in a way that is scalable. And that's the really interesting innovation that Kadena has. Um, if we only had two chains, then it would be very simple and it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be hard. You just make each chain um, depend on each other. But if you have 10 chains, how, how might you connect them together? You could connect them like this. And this is not going to work because there's too many lines and, and that's going to be too many um, hash connections. You could also connect them in something like this. And this also won't work because it's going to take a long time for things from one chain to kind of reach the other chain that's uh, on the farthest um, extent of the chain, chain network. So we used something from graph theory, um, you know, all this kind of abstract math, it turns out actually to be really useful. And there's a problem called the degree diameter problem. And what we can do is we can connect the chains in a shape like this. And this really um, kind of doesn't have the downsides of either of those previous approaches that we saw. Um, all of the chains are, are kind of very close to each other and none of them have to have lots of hashes. And so you don't end up with this inefficiency. 20 chains, which is Kadena's current size. When, when we started our network, we were 10 chains. And eight months later, we scaled to 20 chains. And this is the graph that um, the shape that the 20 chains are connected in. And you can see it still has not too many, not too many lines going around connecting things. And everything is, is actually just a very small number of hops from each other. Um, well, 20 isn't enough either. We've, we already have 20 chains today, which means we have 20 times the capacity of a single chain blockchain. But um, this is where the degree diameter problem and the math people come in and really save. Um, what this chart shows, this is taken from Wikipedia. When, if we go up to just a small number of um, connected, connected chains and a small number of hops, we can get into the hundreds of thousands very easily. And uh, so the, the idea that we're building on is fundamentally a scalable idea. There's no way we're gonna need any more than like hundreds of thousands of chains to, to handle the global transaction volume. So when will this be ready? We're ready today. Um, we launched in October of 2019. Um, and then we are also a full smart contract blockchain. And then in August of 2020, we doubled our network capacity while we were running. So we're proving that this idea actually works and is scalable. Um, why do this? Because high gas fees harm the industry more than we think. And if you can scale, you can keep those gas fees low because you don't have to be competing with everyone else to get your transactions in. Um, the main, the main thing I want to leave with you is that Kadena has kind of realized the potential of Bitcoin. Um, we, have, we have a scalable layer one blockchain. It is running today. Um, we started in 2019. We proved that it can scale. And this is the thing that I think allows us to realize the full potential of, of this amazing idea that Bitcoin started. Um, and um, we can we can kind of take this into the future with global transaction volumes. And we're thrilled to partner with Bitmain, who's obviously a, a really significant player in the Bitcoin ecosystem um, and uh, very excited to see what the future has. All right. Thanks so much, Doug. Oh. I just want to briefly speak from the Kadena Eco side. 
Uh, so my name is Tyler Benster, and among other roles, I help administer Kadena's $100 million grants program for builders. So as Doug mentioned, of course, Kadena is a layer one proof of work blockchain with smart contract capabilities. And so we've seen this incredibly vibrant ecosystem of builders that have sprung up since mainnet launch, and particularly in the last one year. Um, we're now tracking over uh, 400 projects in some capacity that are building and interacting with Kadena blockchain. Uh, and this ranges from everything in, in DeFi uh, to Web3 to uh, new, exciting, uh, unique projects that you will only find here at Kadena. Um, we're particularly excited about our NFT standard marmalade uh, and some of the work that folks are doing in the, the NFT space. Um, and I think that uh, while miners are the lifeblood of any proof of work blockchain, the builders are what bring the users. Uh, and we're very excited about the explosive growth that we're seeing on the Kadena Eco side. All right. Thank you so much, Tyler and, uh, and Doug. Actually, I was reading about, I was looking at your website the other day, then I was going through the, the, the entire ecosystem that you guys are doing. And it's just really amazing. I even think I saw there's something where you do like to protect the Kadena network, right? So just to protect it from like uh, hacks and all those things. So it's really amazing what you guys are doing. And, um, you know, just seeing where Kadena has gone through and where it's going through to the future is just really, really great. So um, before we move on to our next speaker, I just want to remind everybody who's watching now that um, at the end of the event, we'll be having one section for Q&A. So you could send in some of your questions you want to ask. Like just now, we just had the, the presentation from Doug. If you guys have a question about that, you could put in the Q&A. Then later on, like some of our moderators will go through the, the list. And we're going to be answering that together as, uh, as all the speakers. Um, and then now I'd like to move on to the next speaker. So um, I'm sure all of you uh, who are mining at least are, you know, at least I think part of this KDA mining club. So I'd like to call in like Matthew, who'll be talking about like what the community is doing and you know, how, how they're handling the situation about the, the entire market. Yeah, thanks a lot for the introduction, Justin. And thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Doug, for sharing that information about the Kadena ecosystem. I'm really excited to be building here and I wouldn't want to be doing it anywhere else. So a little bit of background at Kadena Mining Club, we're bringing crypto mining and NFTs together in a really electrifying way. And along this journey, we've managed to grow what I believe is the largest social network of Kadena miners in the world. This morning, we actually just crossed over 700 verified Kadena miners in our community, which is an amazing achievement. I, I think that number is a little bit higher, but uh, it's tough to track everything. So when I do discuss mining in the Kadena ecosystem in the following points, just know that this is not just my opinion. Uh, these are the thoughts of many Kadena miners that I've been gathering over the last year or so. And I do know a lot of our community is watching right now. So big shout out to all of you. Thank you so much for your support. Couldn't do it without you. Now to talk about Kadena mining and the Kadena mining community, it's really important to understand that at this moment, Kadena's total network hash rate is currently less than 1% of Bitcoin. And my calculations estimate that there is somewhere between 15,000 and 25,000 Kadena ASIC miners out there in the world today. Now, as you know, some of us know on the panel and some listeners know, there are entire Bitcoin, like there are Bitcoin companies, Bitcoin mining companies that have more miners than the entire Kadena network put together. And I'm not, that's not a bad thing. It's just, we are so new and so early in Kadena right now. And the residential miners are truly the individuals who are driving, you know, mining on the Kadena network. They are the backbone of Kadena and the community. And they do truly shape the current mining situation um, in Kadena because we really haven't gotten to that industrial scale as Bitcoin has. Now, <clears throat> the biggest question on everybody's mind in the last month or so is, why has the Kadena network hash rate increased so much? And well, I think that question is going to be answered today uh, with the Antminer KA3 reveal. So we'll be learning more about that in just a few moments. Um, a couple other major things that are kind of driving the network right now is the rising cost of electricity 
around the globe. Um, electricity has become incredibly expensive in some parts of the world, um, particularly in Europe. In the United Kingdom, electricity rates are expected to increase by 80% in the month of October. And the United Kingdom already has really high electricity rates. So I, I do know of people in the UK that are turning off their cadena miners. And it's really, really unfortunate um, because you can't really decide where you live. It's just, it's just kind of it is what it is and you have to put up with it. You have to deal with it. Um, the next key driver, you know, infrastructure. Um, we conducted a survey several months ago amongst our members. And we found that 70% of our community lives in an urban environment. Now, I've been mining over a year in my apartment. And while it's incredibly rewarding, it isn't the most ideal situation. I was, dry, I was drawing so much power off my little 150 amp panel that I needed to literally turn my miners off if I wanted to cook food or use any type of electrical appliance that had drew a lot of power. Uh, the good news was there was free heating during the winter, didn't have to pay for heat. Uh, but you know, thankfully I'm in a position where this is possible. And you know, thank you to my amazing girlfriend for putting up with the noise and the heat and you know, <laughs> all the uh, all the kind of sides of mining that we don't really like to talk about too much. And of course, you know, I have a low cost of electricity in my state, which has allowed me to mine and continue to mine. But not everyone is as lucky as me or as willing to put up with the heat and noise of, of running a crypto mining farm in their apartment. Um, there are a lot of challenges to start mining between electricity and infrastructure. And many people are priced out just based on where they live. And again, there's not much they can really do about it. Crypto and blockchain is supposed to be about decentralization and letting everyone take part in securing the network and receiving rewards for doing so. But as the years go on, it really seems the odds are continuously being stacked against the at-home miner. Meanwhile, businesses with access to fixed industrial electric rates have continued to thrive and prosper during this time. And I think it's really amazing that companies like Bitmain, you know, we have Hashfrog now, Cadena Mining Club, we're offering the residential miners access to that industrial electricity rate through you know, cloud mining, through NFTs, and we're giving everybody a chance to mine again. Um, I will say there's nothing more rewarding than mining at home. You know, Since I began mining at home, I became much more knowledgeable about blockchain and far more committed to this space. If you are interested in mining and you have access to the infrastructure and a low rate of electricity, I highly recommend you know, doing your mining at home, not financial advice, just if you're interested. Uh, but if you are a beginner, you live in a small apartment or you're living in a place with high cost of electricity, you know, something like, you know, Hashfrog, Cadena Mining Club might be the right choice for you. And the last thing I'll say, I had the absolute pleasure of, of meeting XMA and speaking with her a couple of times over the last month. And I'm thrilled to have her and Bitmain uh, join the Cadena ecosystem. Um, and not just for the tremendous amount of new security that you know Bitmain will bring to the network, but also just you know during my conversations with May, it's quite clear that Bitmain really cares about the Cadena community, and just based on her questions, it's clear that is the top priority of Bitmain, making sure that they're doing good for the community. And I just can't wait to see how this um, you know how this all plays out over the next couple of years. I'm very excited. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Matthew, for those uh, for the really brief, uh, brief and but you know really strong uh, introduction about what, what you guys are doing and what is your output on the market. So um, I think for everybody who's attending, we're going to move on to our first lucky draw. So I think um, you know Bitmain is going to be giving away some prizes. Um, so how how this actually works is that I'm going to get my phone where I have like all the Q and A questions. I don't know if, oh. Let's just try putting it here. So I think you can see this, right? So how this is gonna work is that, um, you know, we send in the questions or some banners in advance. So now we're gonna try to guess what is the hash rate of KA3. So I, what I want you guys to do is to prepare your answers in the Q and A and how it works is that once I say, okay, send your answers, then I'm gonna take random screenshots of your answers and pick a few winners. So. I'm gonna take a screenshot moving my phone. Then if you're in part of the list, then you're gonna be one of the winners. So we're gonna give we're gonna be giving like prizes uh, from a mix from Bitmain and Hashfrog. 
So I want everyone to go to Q and A and then just to prepare your answers. And then when I say start, then I'm gonna start taking screenshots with my phone. Then we're gonna be discussing, I'll be sharing the, the winners a little bit later on. So I'm just getting ready for the Q and A. Can I participate, Justin? Um, <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> not. <Yeah. laughs> I was wondering the same thing, Matthew. <laughs> I, I have a feeling like people in this call already know like the, the, the answer. So it's, it's not fair. Okay. Well, there's, there's not too many, you know, you kind of, you gave away the beginning and you gave away the end. So there's not all too many, you know, numbers to choose from in the middle. I, I mean, you could try if you get it wrong, then, you know, so, so, okay. Everyone ready. So, and I, I just saw some people putting like answers that are really wrong. <laughs> so, Okay, one, two, three, and go. So I'm gonna take some random screenshots. Guys, this is for the, for the hash rate, okay? Okay, I see one person who's a winner. I'm just taking some screenshots on the way. Okay. Two. So I'm choosing four winners for this. Okay. Three. Looking for the fourth one. Okay. So I got the answers in my phone. So we're gonna continue with, the, with, with our speech and then later on, we're gonna have like the presentation to show who are the winners of the event. So don't worry, there's gonna be a lot of winners. It's just not four, we're giving a mix of prizes also from Bitmain. So moving on to our next speaker, uh, I'd like to call like XMA Lin from Bitmain, who'll be officiating the launch of Antminer KA3. Hi, hi guys, I'm XMA Lin, I'm from Bitmain Pattern Marketing. Now you know all the answers, stay tuned. I will do a screen sharing with a second. Hi, welcome to the Antminer K3 launch event. And you can see the outside of the K3. And I know uh, a lot of audience are from Cadena communities and maybe they know a little about Bitman. So first I want to do an introduction of Bitman. Now who is Bitman? Uh, Bitmain started in 2020 and 2030 and by group of blockchain engineers, you know, this tech tricks. And, and now it's grew up from a startup and currently it's, it's now the world's leading uh, manufacturer of cryptocurrency mining servers through our famous brand and miner. And our product matrix has covered the mainstream uh, POW cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Dogecoin, Dash, and Zcash. And now we have Cadena. Uh, as a big company, uh, we need to deal with the relationships with a lot of partners, customers, and we strive to build a mutually beneficial, long-lasting and sustainable partnership with all the customers and business partners and working with them together to create a better digital world. That's also the relationship we want to develop with the Cadena community. Uh, and besides this, considering Bitman was started by a group of blockchain engineers, so the te these tactics, you know, they respect and pursue the technology and the, they believe in POW. So Bitman believe in POW and believe in blockchain technology, and we believe POW is the safest and the best decentralized technology consensus. That's why we choose this fair, why we work on it. In a nutshell, in POW we trust. And last, let's directly go to the today's topic, the K3. Uh, K3 is a result of the romance between Bitman and Cadena. And Bitman has started manufacturing Cadena mining server K3 to help secure the Cadena blockchain and contribute to its ecosystem. And now it's time to lift the K3's veil. What is K3? So it's a leap in computational performance. Uh, we can see the hash rate, we need to guess it you know, the power consumption and the power efficiency. And now you will know all the answer. You can see the video. Bitman introduces Antminer K3, a leap in computational performance. 
Antimana K3 is a new product launched by Vitamin, equipped with high computation processing power and low power consumption. K3 implements operational precision, creating the perfect KDA mining experience. K3 delivers an extraordinary hash rate performance of 166 terahash, a new evolution in computational performance, providing a tenfold improvement compared to the current market output. K3 introduced the new industry standard of 19 joule per terahash, pioneering efficiency into a new era of energy savings and optimized performance, enhancing levels below 100 joule per terahash. The Antimana K3 is at the forefront of the pandemic cryptocurrency mining, providing a smooth mining experience utilizing the Blake 2S algorithm. Calling up the K3 incorporates the latest design from Vitamin's flagship lineup, the 19 series, which offers the most advanced air cooling heat dissipation technology, allowing miners to operate with top of the line protection. Antimana K3, one of the Leading KDA miners, a lead in computational performance. Wow! <laughs> so, did you guys guess it? So, the number is 166 T hash rate and 3154 watt and a 19 joule per TH. And K3 is a real leap in computational performance. And we can see the product details from the left table. And uh, from the right table, we can see the profit calculation of K3 compared to other products. You know, the net profit of K3 per unit is nearly $90 per day. And the ratio of the electricity cost to revenue is only 9%. So that means K3 has an incredible performance uh, and energy saving advantages. Uh, but besides this, the K3 the is designed with a standard case size SS19 series, our famous Bitcoin mining server. It facilitates the digital center arrangement. It means you can deploy K3 in any Bitcoin mining data center easily in the future. Uh, and last uh, uh, to the topics of why Bitman choose Cardano and why we design K3. You know, our engineers have researched the Cardano for more than one year. We believe the Cardano's potential and the case is not a whim. It's a result of a serious and prudent judgment. The POW infrastructure and the chain web design that has the amazing balance among security, decentralization, and scalability from Cardano. And uh, uh, similar to blockchain development, mining is a long-term business. And in the future, Bitman will continue to provide advanced blockchain servers for Cardano to help maintain blockchain security. And also as a POW believer and evangelist, Bitman will be willing to contribute to Cardano ecosystem. So now I will announce in representative from Bitman that we will donate three units of K3 miners to Cardano to support the research and development and one unit of K3 to all the community members of Cadena Mining Club to show our gratitude. And um, we launched this product, but we didn't start to sell it, to be honest. And why we do this? Because K3 is a super advanced and high hash rate server. We want to help blockchain security and decentralization. We need more suggestions and feedbacks from the community. You know, please follow us to let us know what you think about K3 and what you one bit and what do you think Bitman should do in the future? And uh, uh, we really want to know more suggestions and feedbacks from the community. And so I left the official website, our official Twitter. You can follow our official Twitter and follow our YouTube channel to know more about us and DM us and comment, you know, in our Twitter and to let us know what you think about K3 and what you want Bitman to do in the future. And if you want to join the K3 mining right now, I will introduce Hashfrog, a professional cloud mining service provider. I know everyone can join mining with a low barrier and earn mining profit easily. And also Anpool, the world's leading, leading mining pool. And please stay tuned for their presentation soon. Thank you. All right, thank you for the wonderful speech, Rehan. Uh, so, um, I think everybody is very excited now, especially that you saw the, the profitability of uh, K3. And in the future, like Bitmain will be, you know, offering this product to, to everyone. So uh, just as we 
just as I mentioned a while ago, like we have the next four winners that uh, I'm going to read out in a bit. So um, I'm going to I'm going to firstly read out the four winners. So what I want you to do is that you could leave your email and name in the Q&A section. Then our moderators would contact you after three business days. So after I announce the winners, please just please share your information in the Q&A section. So for the first winner, as I scrolling down, you know, really fast, uh, we have this winner who answered correctly. Uh, this person's name is uh, John Ria. So it's J-A-N-R-Y-A. -A. The answer submitted at, um, like quite early on. So if thank you for winning. So if you could leave your email and the name uh, in the Q&A section, then our moderators will collect your information. And then for the second winner, we have Eric Try Tryon. So congratulations. If you could also leave your information in the Q&A section, our moderators will contact you. And then next we have um, John Saran Takis. So congratulations. Um, please leave your information as well. And the fourth person is, uh, I, I'm not sure if I, this, uh, if I pronounce this correctly, it's like Kiesled. Uh, so it's K-E-Y-E-S-L-D. So you're the fourth winner, congratulations. Please leave your information in the Q&A section. Then for, our, for the other participants who answered, I'm gonna be reading out a few of your names just to give you some prize as well. So um, Ryan Cooper, um, then we have this person called KK, like two small Ks. And then we have Dr. Jason Carter. Then another few of our winners is uh, VJ, oh, sorry, Obelisk. Okay. And then we have Sebastian. So the E has like a little intonation on top. Then we have Dijen by Hexican. And our final winner is uh, Chris Dimes. So Chris, C-H-R-I-S-D-Y-M-E-S. So thank you everyone for, for, for participating. Um, I just wanna say, sorry, Matthew didn't win. But anyways, we're, as, as X may mentioned, right? We're gonna be giving you guys like a minor. So we still win anyways. <laughs> yeah, of course we do. We all, we all win with Bitmain building <laughs> down mining computers. We all win. Yeah. All right, so I wanna thank everybody for joining the lucky draw. And uh, don't forget later for the Q&A section, we're gonna be answering a few of your questions. So moving on to the next part of the, of the presentation, I'd like to call on uh, Brandon from HashFrog, who's gonna be introducing the KA3 cloud mining product. So welcome. Yep. Hi everyone, um, very uh, happy to pass participate in the event. Um, launch event between Bitmain, Mpool, and KDA Mining Club. And um, today I'll be introducing our platform and as well as the latest products that you will see today. Um, so it's actually quite an eventful day for us today as it's our first time introducing ourselves um, hash frog to the public and it's also um, our initial, in initial launch of our platform and KDA products. So how was um, how was Hashrock formed? It's formed through the undergoing stage of rapid development of cryptocurrencies, and then um, with different solutions brought by blockchain technology in various fields, more and more cryptocurrencies are showing greater potential, and um, as a result, Hashrock was formed in this general trend, and then. Um, what we want to provide as Hashfrog is that um, we want to provide a one-stop platform that provides rich cryptocurrency mining, um, extensive digital financial management, and flexible um, crypto asset allocation solutions for global digital currency participants. And uh, I hope you guys can follow us for our latest products on our platform. And then uh, what, what we will be sharing as well today is um, our first product, which is KDA's Cloud Computing Power product. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe some, some, some people on the video today will not, uh, are not aware of what cloud mining actually is. 
Um, so actually, like what Justin was, uh, sorry, what Matthew was sharing just now was that um, he was facing a lot of issues with um, high electricity usage while he was mining in his own house. Um, so cloud mining gives um, people the flexibility to actually just um, to sign up for an account and um, be able to mine from, they do not need to worry about um, high electricity costs although you still need to pay like service fee and things like that to get the machine to continue running. Um, but it's, I think compared to, um, so for example, uh, you, you, for example, you purchase a, um, a normal purchase of, so a normal Bitcoin miner of S19 series is about 3,000 to 4,000, but, um, by dividing the 100T hash rate of a single miner into a minimum order amount of 10T, the upfront investment is actually reduced to about 300 to 400 for a cloud mining plan. And um, this will bring the level easier for most new users who would like to start mining as a, a trial. And then um, actually benefits of cloud mining is to um, allow users to deal with a series of complicated processes such as purchasing, transporting, and hosting miners. And then um, actually if you, it's a more simplified process as compared to mining um, from your own home. Um, Okay, so uh, with KDA, um, with our KDA3 miner, um, what we want to do is to reduce the threshold of uh, participating in mining and KDA3 wants to carry out cloud mining in the form of dividing computing power and considering that clients might have divergent views on the market, you might choose bullish pricing when the market is good or bearish pricing to lock up lower prices in longer duration plans during drawdowns. You may also order shorter duration plans such as 60 days and reinvest every two months. Um, if you have a higher tolerance of illiquidity or if you are a holder, you might want to choose the 120 days plan with a more competitive pricing to meet the needs of different users. We have set actually the minimum unit order to 10 T. Um, at the same time, in order to meet different users' judgments on the market and their own needs, KDA mining products are actually equipped with a variety of mining cycles, such as um, 60 days, 90 days, and 100 days. And you can also flexibly, flexibly choose a package that suits your investment schedule. So um, once again, I'm very glad to introduce Hashfrog and the first KDA product to you for the first time. And I hope that this opportunity can let everyone get to know us and participate in cloud mining. Um, everyone is also welcome to register for the platform and we have prepared a registration gift package for every user and for every new user. And you can also quickly understand and experience the cloud computing power model, KDA and more currencies to be launched in the future through the products exclusive to new users. So if you have any questions, you are feel free to ask us. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Brandon. And um, I think we could just remind everybody again about like the, the website of Hashfrog so they could just um, visit the site as well to learn more about the products, right? Yeah. So uh, it's hashfrog.com, right? Very simple. Correct. Yeah. Uh, it's the one. Yeah. So if everybody's interested to learn about the, the products of Hashfrog, just feel free to visit their site. Then if you have any questions, you could reach out to, to uh, Hashfrog. I think they have a customer support there, or if you have any questions, you can always contact the Bitmain team. We'd always be happy to help out. So moving on. Um, so moving on with the next speaker that we have, um, I'd like to call in our Chin Li from Antpool. So he's gonna be introducing Antpool zero KDA mining fee. So we'd love to hear more about this. Sure, thank you, Justin. Uh, I'm Li. Hey everyone, I'm uh, Li Chun. Uh, senior Development Engineer from Antpool. Uh, Antpool is a global leading uh, cryptocurrency mining pool. 
currently supporting 10 plus cryptocurrencies, uh, more than uh, 600,000 BTC miners are connecting our mining servers uh, across the world uh, with innovative text and efficient algorithms. Uh, we support multi-payment methods, worldwide stable network, real-time data report, and analysis for mining activities. We are committed to providing the client with with high yields of crypto mining production. It can be very easy to be bought and pool uh, on the official website of www.anpool.com. You will be able to find the very detailed information and the instructions on how to register uh, an account, set up your machine uh, to join Anpool, and the mining instructions of various tokens. Uh, recently, Anpool launched the KDE mining pool. Uh, most importantly, Anpool has uh, optimized the mining pool algorithms for KDE miners uh, with stronger computational power. Therefore, the users can expect an optimized performance uh, of KDA miners. In addition, now we are running a marketing campaign for KDA mining pool. Uh, from today to October 12th, uh, Anpu offers a free mining trail to all new KDA users. Uh, the promotion will go into effect uh, automatically and uh, there is no application required. So if you are interested, uh, don't miss out uh, on this opportunity that to mine your KD on Anpu today. Thanks. All right, thank you so much for the lovely uh, promotion that you offered. So I'm actually gonna go connect my KD miner to Anpu right away. <laughs> so everybody, if you're, if you were, Willing to see this Thank promotion, you. feel free to go to anpool.com. They have all the information there. There's a promo now that's gonna be running for a while. So I think this is a really good chance for you to you know, get better mining rewards. So just feel free to join. And then um, let's see. So moving on, um, I think we could move to our, uh, you know, for, to our sort of this open uh, panel discussion. So we prepared a few questions. So I'm gonna be asking a few speakers a few questions so they could answer it then later on. After that, we could move on to the questions from the from the attendees. So we have a few questions here. Uh, let me start off. Um, so we have one question. Uh, we want to know. We want to chase hotspot. We want to know the you know this is very general, right? So, what's ETH merge is happening soon? What do you guys think about this? You know, is there going to be any dispute between POW or PO and POS? So I think this question um, could be directed to Doug and Tyler from the Katana team. Then later on, like um, everyone else could also just feel free to answer and give their thoughts. So Doug, Tyler, can you tell us what you guys think about this? Sure, sure, sure. I'll be happy to. Um, I think the, from my standpoint where I, where I uh, kind of think about this is the move to proof of stake, in my opinion, was really driven by pragmatically trying to get blockchain to realize the potential um that that we saw there with with decentralized money and um they ran into the scaling problem they couldn't figure out how to scale proof of work and that limited the ability of blockchain to to you know be leveraged by global transactions um so significantly that people were looking for anything they could find and um if i had been there and if i had been unable to figure out how to scale proof of work, I can absolutely imagine myself try looking into proof of stake as well. I think that makes perfect sense. Um, and it turns out it, it's not super easy to scale proof of work. And now that Kadena has done it, I think it, it kind of brings us back to the, the principles that Bitcoin started this whole thing off with of decentralization. Um, proof of work is just the most decentralized consensus mechanism out there. And thankfully, now it's also scalable. And, and so, so yeah, I, I don't, you know, no hate on proof of stake. I think that it was, it was a natural thing to pursue. But I think that 
now that we've figured out how to scale proof of work, I feel like that has a lot more promise to, to realize the decentralization that uh, Satoshi was trying to accomplish. Yeah. yeah, I think it's also about the efficiency in terms of um, you know capital allocations and resources. I think many of us got into crypto because of Satoshi Nakamoto's vision of decentralization, because of how proof of work and mining showed how distribution could be done in a more fair fashion, as opposed to what we're used to in, at least in the US and you know very capitalist worlds of the rich getting richer based on having a lot of coins uh, at the onset. And I think that what we're excited to see in the Kadena ecosystem is uh, seeing users you know, deploy KDA um, for transactions, for interacting with DeFi, for interacting with, with Web3 projects and dApps. Uh, and I think that um, being able to um, you know, create this incentive where you know, ultimately, because miners who are securing the network are getting block rewards, um, there isn't as much pressure on gas being the primary uh, way of compensating people who are securing the network. Um, whereas I think uh, proof of stake has its own unique advantages, of course, um, but there can be more tensions um, around uh, the folks that hold the coins that are doing the validation, having some economic incentive for there to be higher fees. And so our belief is that we will you know, continue to see Kadena um, scalability model uh, enabling low cost transactions uh, and high throughputs um, as we scale the network to, to meet the increasing demand of all the different projects and users. This very meeting kind of proves the point. It is an open system. Bitmain can come in and manufacture mining devices without the permission of Kadena. And anyone else in the world can do that because proof of work is fundamentally an open, open world system. You don't have to like get us to give you a stake in order to be able to participate. And I think that's a really, really cool thing. Yeah, and I think one good thing that Bitmain does also is that we're quite transparent with, you know, the different communities. That's what we're trying to do. I think what what uh, Dinhan also quite mentions that we are trying to build relationships as well. So we also try to be transparent of what we're doing, just to let everybody know in advance. So uh, does anybody else have uh, want to answer on this? Wants to add up? Yeah, I will answer this question too because uh, being that, uh we uh, call ourselves as a true believer and evangelist of POW system because we truly believe in POW and uh, we choose this fair, we choose this business, and, and we will work on POW ecosystem. Uh, and I think the reason why Ethereum choose to turn to uh, POS, like don't set. Uh, because that's because of the scalability because it's hard to reach the balance between uh, among the scalability and security and decentralization. And but I think Cadena set a good example, and you guys already did a good job, uh, especially on the scalability. Mm, and I think uh, in the future, after uh, after Ethereum switch to uh, POS. Uh, there will be more opportunities for the POW projects like Dana, like Ethereum Classic. So it's a good opportunity. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Um, okay. Uh, I, I think POW and POS uh, are different uh, consensus uh, algorithms. Uh, I, uh, however, each has its own metrics and uh, I think disadvantages. Uh, I'm pool as uh, one of the largest POW mining pools in the uh, in the in the world. I'm pool advocates uh, decentralized POW consensus uh, by Sentashi, uh and fully support BTC, EZ, and other POW tokens. Uh, I'm pool has always devoted itself to the develop and the maintenance of the uh, POW uh, ecosystems. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I think one good thing about Antpo is that it's, you know, it's been in the market for the longest of time, right? So it's also like very reliable, like just a lot of uh, people also working on Antpo. So now like, you know, just partnering up together with KDA, um, it's just really, you know, there's just, it's in just increasing the, the ecosystem that's available out in the market. So it's just always like great to have these things going on. Yeah, sure, thank you. Matthew, do you have a, maybe you want to share some some thoughts on this? Yeah, sure. Um, 
you know, proof of stake is a system that is no different than what we've all been using in governments and banking for hundreds of years. Of course, now we're putting the blockchain on top of it, but it's that same old system where the stakeholders, the largest individuals who control the, the you know, the system, whatever it might be, have a lot of influence over it. And I think it goes against what Satoshi Nakamoto wrote in the original Bitcoin white paper um, for that, that, you know, it goes against the decentralized vision of cryptocurrency. Um, you know, for example, it costs it costs 32 Ethereum to run an ETH node. Now, for you know everybody sitting at home, that's un unobtainable. 32 ETH to run a node and to partake in securing the network. But meanwhile, you know you can spend a thousand dollars and pick up a Cadena miner, take part in securing the network, and earn rewards for doing so. And I think that's truly incredible, and that's the big reason that I'm all on board the proof of work train compared to proof of stake. Thanks. I totally agree on that. Um, all right. Um, do we have any more uh, questions on this topic? All right. So I guess we could move to the, to the next part. So give me a second. Okay. So for the next question, um, mining is an important part of Cadena's ecosystem, but mining has always given us the impression of silence and low profile. What do you think about mining and importance of and its importance to Cadena? So I think um, to the Cadena team, like what, what are your thoughts on this? We have always been really huge supporters of miners. Um, that's why we picked the hash function we picked. Uh, we believe that having a stable set of miners, which is what ASICs give you, is a much better, more reliable way to run your network in the long term, rather than than using um, hash functions designed around, you know, GPUs or FPGAs, where where people can switch to whatever project it happens to be the most profitable at the time. We want people who are are uh, like seriously dedicated to contributing to this ecosystem for the long term. Um, you know, this is why we're thrilled to have Bitmain uh, join in and and start creating more mining devices, adding more options for people. Um, yeah, we have have been very like seventy percent of of the KDA in the tokenomics over the lifetime of the project goes to miners. Um, and, and it's because we understand that miners are what really make this thing go. And uh, unlike some other communities where, you know, there's a fair amount of hostility to miners, we think that this is a, a, a relationship where everyone wins. That's yeah, really and great. of course, with Kadena's, you know, 100 year emissions for mining, it's uh, an ecosystem and an economy that's built here to stay. Uh, this isn't just an opportunity in the next year, the next five years, but, you know, the next decades. Um, also, I think that in terms of uh, silence with miners, I think that because Kadena has such a robust smart contract language uh, and growing ecosystem, that there's actually innovation that's happening both on the software and the hardware side. Of course, we're tremendously excited by the, the hardware announcement um, from Bitmain today. Um, equally, on the software side, there's projects, you know, Matthew's a fantastic example um, with Kadena Mining Club. Of, of areas where people are coming up with new creative ways to create NFTs, to fractionalize ownership or, or profit um, streams from, from miners. And we expect that, um, you know, this is just the beginning, that there's going to be tremendous opportunities to think about how we can start looking at miners as, you know, fungible or of, as objects themselves that are tracked and used on the blockchain that can enable, you know, new application layers even on top of the miners themselves. So I think that, you know, the innovation um, is just starting and, uh, you know, tremendously excited to see uh, miners become, um, you know, very active uh, players, uh, both on the user side, the project side. Uh, I think that the opportunities for folks in the mining community um, are, are just beginning and are going to be incredibly exciting um, in the upcoming months. Well, yeah. One other thing that Cadena has done that I think really um, is a nod to miners is we don't have the abrupt, you know, uh, mining rewards getting cut in half like Bitcoin does. It's a much more smooth transition 
which means that uh, all the uncertainty that that goes on in the, the Bitcoin world every time a halving is coming up or just happened um, and then kind of things have to around um that's much less of an issue with cadena because the the rewards change smoothly over this whole hundred year period um and we thought that that was a really good um property to to give miners so that they they, they don't have these abrupt changes i think that's really good especially like you know for people doing investments into mining like you really plan like long term and it's not as volatile if you're using cadena um and you know just to point out again right like you're saying that there's a lot of uh uh, options that are coming out and it's also really great that now like uh, hashfrog also opens this uh, option for to an uh, easier entry barrier to get into cadena mining so i think it's just really great just seeing how the network and the uh, everything's developing the whole ecosystem yeah I, I know the question was you know silence and low profile typically goes along with miners but i think the cadena miners are different i think the miners on cadena are some of the you know, smartest out, you know, out, outspoken driven individuals in the mining game, because it's a huge, you know, it's a huge investment to buy one of these miners. I mean, ASICs, they only do one thing. They mine the cryptocurrency that they're programmed to do. And if that cryptocurrency doesn't end up doing well, you're left with a machine that literally is just a paperweight. It, it will never do anything again for you. So, um, you know, huge props to Bitmain for putting in the R&D and developing this product and, you know, the other ASIC manufacturers for Cadena as well. I mean, it's a huge risk and, but it also shows, you know, you have a lot of trust and you have a lot of support for the Cadena network over time. You know, you guys believe that Cadena will grow and that's why you, you know, just decided to put the money into it. And that's how all of us miners are too. You know, I mean, we're buying these tens of thousands of dollars of machines and just mining Cadena, like it's all we want to do. <laughs> Cadena 24-7, right? <laughs> yeah, Cadena 24-7. All right. Um, let's, how about anyone else? Do you want to put in some uh, ideas? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh... Uh, you know, sometimes uh, people say that miners are keep, uh, you know, always keep low profile. But I think because sometimes they are really marginal. You know, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that that's sometimes the truth. But I really want to emphasize the importance of miner uh, and the mining to a POW ecosystem uh, because uh, I think miners are very loyal, especially ASIC miners, and because mining is a long term business. When we talk about the philosophy of proof of work. We believe people will work for worthful things, and ASX miners work for the worthful things. They will, because like the Cadena miners, they will work for the Cadena. They believe it's worthful. Yeah, and I think the the good thing about miners, right? Like the reason why they go into Cadena is like they actually believe in Cadena into the future. Like miners, normally once you get into ASIC mining, they really do the research. They they see what's uh, what. Uh, what the coin is doing, what the crypto scene is doing. So, you know, they actually believe in the future of what it could offer. All right. Um, so um, let's move on to the next question. So let's see. So why did you choose Cadena? What role do you see in Cadena playing in the blockchain world? So uh, we could direct this question to Antpool, Hashfrog, and, uh, and to Bitmain. Bitmain speakers. So um, maybe we can start with Antpool. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Cardina has, uh, I think, has a lot of pleasant uh, feature. For example, there are uh, many web related encoding in the API and uh, 20 subchains. Uh, also, the blockchains validating and API speed, I think, is very uh, fast and the interval is very short. Uh, uh, those features make uh, Cadena stand out among various chains and tokens uh, we have worked before. Uh, uh, but also, this also, uh, this feature sometimes uh, can be challenging for a mining pool because it's uh, it requires pools to respond quickly to update the blocks and send money job to miner uh, as soon as possible. Uh, especially for the stronger uh, miners such as uh, K3. 
Uh, good thing is uh, Ampo has uh, op uh, optimized uh, the mining pool algorithm for Catena, so that I think it could uh, allow user to mine Catena without worrying about technical issue. Uh, thank you. All right. Okay. Um, how about to hash frog? Like, can you tell us uh, what do you think about Cadena and its role in playing the blockchain world? Um, I think uh, Cadena has um, a lot of potential in the in in the blockchain world, um, and um, uh, yeah, maybe Xme wants to elaborate more on that. Yeah, um, maybe like, actually, I think a lot of people be curious about this as well, like maybe for Hashfrog, like for people who want to enter into Kadena, like, um, like maybe what are the different packages that, or will Hashfrog be offering like several packages for people to get into, into mining? Uh, yeah, okay. So um, as, as I mentioned previously that um, uh, we have, we have a number of packages that everyone can can purchase. We even have um, uh, sixty day packages which people can choose from as a form of a trial, and start with a short cycle kind of plan. But if you have higher illiquidity, you can choose like one hundred and twenty days plan because our um, and we have as low as ten T purchasing rate. Um, so we have multiple plans ranging from 60 days, 90 days, as well as 120 days. And um, you have the flexibility to choose between these different packages based on your ability. All right, thanks. Uh, how about uh, Linhan, do you have like something to share? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, yeah, yeah, just as I said before, uh, or, you know, the choice of, uh, Manufacturer cadena miners, uh, the KS3 uh, is is not is not view. It, it is uh, it's after a uh, you know long term and prudent uh, judgment. Our engineers have researched the cadena and its ecosystem for more than one year, so we really believe in the potential of cadena. And as I said before, it's hard to reach the balance among you know the decentralization, the scalability, and security. But we do believe that the cadena set a good example for all POW uh, and all, I think all cryptocurrencies, it's very important. And also after the Ethereum, you know, switch to uh, POS, I, I, I would believe that Cadena will play a more important role in the POW cryptocurrency and in, all, in the ecosystem, you know, we believe the potential. And that, that's why we choose to, you know, manufacture K3. All right, thank you. Um, okay, so let's move into the next question because I think like uh, a lot of the attendees will have some Q&A questions. I think we could go through that, go through that a bit uh, shortly. So for our final question to the speakers, so we know the importance of mining Kadena. How can we diversify and promote the mining service and make it more attractive to more community members? So um, let's start with Antpool. Maybe you could tell us what you think about this. Uh, sure. Uh, Ampu uh, is a firm supported uh, for POW projects. Uh, we advocate POW tokens like Cadena. Uh, recently, we are attracting miners to join Cadena with a marketing campaign that allows miners to mine Cadena on Ampu uh, for free, for free, uh, for free one, one month. Uh, it is uh, in the they, however, as a tech company, what we can really contribute to the community is that we provide a stable, secure, and efficient mining pool service uh, to the user. I think uh, that's what we have been striving for. Uh, thank you. All right, thanks. How about Matthew? Like, can you share your thoughts on this? Yeah, absolutely. You know, as I spoke about before, um, Cadena is primarily driven by the residential miner, the, the people at home at the moment. 
And for the residential miners, energy and infrastructure are the main barriers to entry to start mining. I mean, some people are blessed to live in a nice spot with low electricity. They have a garage or a basement or um, perhaps, a, a, you know, some kind of shed detached from the house or they have maybe their own commercial facility. But most people do not have access to that. And the Bitmain, you know, KA3 machine, for example, I definitely could not host that in my apartment. Um, but I can get access to that machine through Bitmain, through Hashfrog, and, you know, now through KMC, which, you know, I think is spectacular. And what we're doing at KMC is we're actually fractionalizing the, uh, the ASIC miner um, and packaging our contracts into NFTs. So, you know, an NFT is just a piece of data. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be a profile picture. It could be a contract. And that's what we're using them for. Um, of course, we do have really cool profile pictures as well. Um, we did make something for Bitmain. I would love to show off our, um, you know, a Bitmain NFT to everybody. If you'll give me the chance to quickly share my screen. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. All right. All right let's do this. Uh, can we see this? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Can we see? So this is, uh, we made this NFT for Bitmain. This is a fully animated NFT. Uh, we made him kind of like a race car driver. We personified him as a race car driver because Bitmain is racing to first place in the Kadena mining ecosystem with their KA3 miner, uh, absolutely destroying the competition. So I think this is really cool. And, um, wow, that's a cute gig. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very, cool, is, very cool. Is that your t-shirt also? Like, yeah, I got, well, this is the Spaceman. Uh, Modern, okay, okay. But, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't have the Bitmain one as, on a shirt yet, but I'll definitely have to get some of those printed out and sent over uh, to the Bitmain team. And, you know, oh, that, that's very cute. Thank you so much. <laughs> of course. Um, you know, the art is, is really important, right? Because you can look at that picture and you get it. It's like, that's an ASIC miner. It finally paints a picture to what this whole mining ecosystem is about and maybe takes away that low profile and silence, right, for mining and kind of adds that layer of fun to it. Um, so on that note, we are revealing all of our NFT artwork tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. So right now, all of our NFTs, there's 4,600 of them out there in the world right now. Um, they all have, they're all like mystery. They're all hidden. Later tonight at 7 p.m., we're going to reveal the art for all of those NFTs. So everybody gets a complete, unique image that's tied to a Bitmain KA3 ASIC miner. We can't wait to get mining. Thank you, Bitmain. All right. Okay. Um, man, that was super cool. <laughs> Just gotta say. Yeah, okay. So um, how about how about for Hashfog? Like, what do you think about this? Like uh, the importance of mining to Kadena, you know? Um, I think what we really want to reiterate is that um, Hashfog is committed committed in building a safe and compliant blockchain infrastructure and producing innovative and diversified uh, digital currency investment products. And uh, yeah, we want to really support the whole uh, cryptocurrency mining extensively. All right. Yeah. So um, I think from what everyone heard tonight, uh, today, like, um, you really see the development that's gone into Kadena, you know, like new miners uh, that, are, that was released. And then now that we have different options for mining, Kadena Mining Club is providing like NFTs, like there's just a lot going on in the Kadena ecosystem, which is just really, really just really great because, you know, um, moving on to the future, you know, what if the coin doesn't have much development, then it becomes, you know, uh, stagnant. So now that we have all these developers, all these people working in Kadena, and Bitmain coming in to also provide miners, then we could seriously see a bright future for, for Kadena. Uh, 